Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I'm doing a little vlog here, just an update on my situation here in Texas um, and just what's been going on locally over the past eh, about month or so. Um, so in case you're new here, my name's Dave. May the Schwartz be with you and welcome back to my Schwartz Force. Um, so real quick, I have a controversial uh, review that's coming up. <laughs> I can already hear the eyes rolling on my next homage watch that I'm doing a review on. It'll be coming out probably in the next day or two, but it is this here, <laughs> check that out. It's an homage of the Richard Mille RM052 uh, Skull watch. I saw this on Amazon and I was like, you know, it's super cheap, like 30 bucks or something. So. Um, I'm giving it some honest like wrist time to see what I think about it and I'll do a full complete review and of course the good the bad and the ugly as I always do I'll let you guys know what I think about it uh, but I'm at here on my patio just enjoying this beautiful day that we've been given let me show you here real quick uh, it's a really nice day out here um, I don't know what happened this spring like I, I feel like there were a lot of beetles um, that came out of nowhere like super fast and they just they're this turf like you can see i mean look at how the turf is just not doing very well um being that it's already towards the end of april it should start filling in um but i i laid down a bunch of grub control i even put down some milky spore so i'm working on it it'll get back to a uh, better better place here in the next month or two i hope so for all my other guys out there doing uh, gardening and yard work, I feel I feel your pain, bro. So I am out here with my wife and she is throwing the Frisbee with Millie. <laughs> Look at her go. Good girl. And then Milo's just chilling. So one of the things that we've done recently because we've been uh, stuck at home and we've been spending a lot of time outside. So we actually bought this uh, outdoor sofa. Um, it's really nice. It's like a aluminum or metal frame and then it's got these cushions it's actually really comfortable um, I have our mosquito net. I put this up maybe about a year and a half ago I always take it down during the um, The winter and fall and winter months, but it really helps with keeping uh, mosquitoes and flies out So we'll chill out here and just have some uh, lunch and dinner and enjoy, you know, the good weather while we have it all right, so a couple things I've been doing with my free time here is um, my nephew, <laughs> he was like telling me I should buy Grand Theft Auto V. I don't really use my PS4 a whole lot, so I was like, all right, let me dust it off. So I picked up uh, Grand Theft Auto V and I installed it. And man, <laughs> my character for online is uh, this guy, man. He's like super thug. He's like a carrot top thug. <laughs> I'll put a little picture here so you can check him out. Um, so we've been just running stuff, you know, in the evenings and I hop online and we'll, he's been helping me out a lot. He's like, obviously he's like a level 100 or something crazy. Um, so him and his friends and stuff play a lot. Um, that's been kind of cool, but I snagged that. So check this out. I ordered Grand Theft Auto 5 on Amazon and then I canceled it because a dude was selling, this is the haul I got for, so I was able to snag not only the Nirvana, nevermind, you know, record album, um, but I was also able to get Grand Theft Auto 5 for PS4 with the collector's edition, um, like I guess strategy guide book, and then also Final Fantasy 15 Royal Edition, everything 25 bucks. I was like, dude, yes, like I'll meet you right now. So I was able to snag all that. I think Amazon just Grand Theft Auto 5 would have run me like 30 bucks. So I canceled that order save some money it was a good haul um one of the things that's kind of crazy that's been happening is i think people are starting to get more stir crazy they're like getting tired of being cooped up at home <laughs> uh, and in my particular zip code we have like one of the highest counts of uh coronavirus cases and i think it's because people in this area just start freaking nuts man they, they seem like think they're super entitled so they just go out willy-nilly, whatever. And I'll show you, like, check this out. So here is an intersection, really really uh, busy intersection on April 11th, and it's, like, pretty much empty. Okay, that was on the 11th. And then I went to go get, like, pick up an order from one of the groceries, uh, do, like, a curbside pickup thing, <laughs> and it was packed, packed with people. And this was later in the month. This was, like, maybe on the 17th, just a few days back, and it was freaking packed with people everywhere every restaurant every store just everyone out and about like like just another normal day so i think people are at the point now where they just don't care anymore 
and uh, <laughs> they're just gonna go out and do what they wanna do. Um, so I haven't stepped inside of a grocery store in over a month. Everything I've been doing has been with Amazon Fresh or deliveries from um, our grocery store. And I've done a couple cur curbside pickup, which is kind of cool. You just go there, pop your trunk, they load it up, you're good, and just spray everything down. Um, I've been ordering a lot of stuff from Amazon and, and online. And so I had to um, spray everything down as far as like packages and boxes and mail. I'll like let the mail sit there for days at a time before I go get it. Um, so it's been kind of crazy. You know, you get, you get a lot of perspective seeing things that you kind of take for granted. Like the, the guys that actually work still that pick up the trash and the recycle, like salute, man. I, I that uh, imagine if that just stopped one day, it'd be people go nuts. And then it also kind of gives you perspective about like saving stuff. Like, man, you <laughs> with the way food and things are, as far as like stores being out of things, uh, yeah, you, you definitely think twice about like Best Buy date. Yeah, whatever, man, that shit, it's probably not expired. So we're just gonna roll with it. <laughs> we're just gonna open that can. Uh, uh, those those uh, frozen vegetables might be a little, little freezer burn, but we're just gonna eat them anyway. <laughs> and luckily a lot of restaurants are still like running, you know, they're doing, uh, you can pick up food, they're doing deliveries. So it's not really a problem, it's just more of um, taking things for granted. Like, you know, you can't just go to the grocery store and buy a handful of things you're, you want. Like, you need to actually plan for weeks in advance and make sure you get everything. Cause like all of the online ordering and delivery stuff is like booked out at least a week in advance. So um, you definitely think twice. Like you'd be sitting there like, oh, you know, my, uh, my, I need to blow my nose and you go and get some toilet paper off the roll and you're like, you think about it, you're like, you know what? Nah, 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 you just like roll it right back on that roll. <laughs> you just use like a, hand me that, uh, hand me that t-shirt over there. <laughs> my wife and I have been really blessed that we're still getting income, uh, even though we're locked down. And there's a lot of people out there I know that are struggling. And so we, um, you know, this month we donated to a couple of different churches. What was the other one? The food bank and the Humane Society uh, for all the stray dogs and cats out there. So just trying to help people, man. It's, uh, it's a lot of people out there struggling and I know um, you just gotta be thankful for what you have and all you guys out there that anything you can do to help other people, you should definitely uh, try to do that. Um, told friends, family, you know, if they need help getting certain food items or toilet paper, whatever it is, any way you can help, you know, it doesn't have to just be money, like any way that you can help people yeah, you know, one of the things I forgot to mention too is we've done everything. We've uh, we've done all the laundry, we've cleaned all the bathrooms, we've uh, rearranged the pantry, the refrigerator. Um, <laughs> I even steam cleaned all the carpets in the entire house, all the rooms, upstairs, downstairs. Cars are washed. <laughs> I actually put one of my cars in storage because we're not even you driving it. So I was like, well. We need one of the cars to like pick up groceries and do whatever. Um, but the other, the other car, yeah, you might want to check into that with your uh, insurance companies. You can actually put one of your cars as long as it's in the garage, depending on, you know, it's going to vary depending on what their, their rules are, but you might be able to put your extra cars in storage status, save some money on your insurance premium. Something I, I recommend looking into, um, just cut corners, you know, save some money where you can. So that's my update. I will do uh, my next video on my review of this watch. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't upset people. <laughs> uh, it shouldn't, it's actually, I don't know. Uh, we'll get into it, I don't wanna spoil it. I don't wanna give any spoilers away, but I'll do that video and then I have some other ones. I actually have a uh, ASMR parody video that I had told some of my viewers I was gonna do back in like November, December and I, I had never done it. And so I um, am in the process of editing that video as well. So that'll be coming out soon. Anyway, I'm rambling. Um, just wanted to give you an update. As always, may the Schwartz be with you. Y'all take care. See you at the next one.